Uh, skipping the waiting room, I'm all about that, man. I'm also all about let's just not get sick. Yeah, right. Let's just wash our hands, right? <laughs> My kids have already missed school. It's crazy. It's like a petri dish at our house. I knew you were intently watching that. Yeah, I was. I was for sure. All right. Well, the other thing we're watching is the weather, but there's nothing changing. We've just got this beautiful September pattern. September often has just quiet days where there's not much moving on the weather map, and we are in a great place in the weather map right now. Uh, as you'll see here in the forecast, we're near 60 right now. Dew points creeping up a little bit, so we've got that comfortable start area wide. But high pressure is in charge, not just for us, but all over the eastern half of the country. Look at the real estate this high pressure is taking up. That means lots of sinking air and lots of clear skies. Ah, but the skies aren't completely blue. And the reason why we mentioned this last few days, there's some wildfire smoke from those western wildfires that goes way up in the atmosphere. It's not an issue to us here in the ground. No air quality alerts. But what we do have is not the blue sky. We have that milky white sky. And we're going to have that once again today and really over the course of the rest of the week. All the action in the country, well, you have to go all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico to find it. This is Francine becoming better organized right now. Lots of rain and even some storm surge already down towards Corpus Christi, the Galveston area. This eventually will head off towards the north as a hurricane, and it'll start to curve towards areas near New Orleans. Expecting to make land fall tomorrow as a cat one or cat two hurricane to the west of New Orleans. New Orleans would have storm surge from that. And then eventually what you see is that it starts to head our direction, right? So the remnants of Francine will have to keep an eye on in terms of how far north it goes. But you can see becoming a much more powerful storm here over the next 24 hours. There's your landfall sometime tomorrow afternoon with flooding and even a tornado threat on that eastern side. For us, your National Design Mart Hour by Hour forecast features a temperature story. We've got lots of sunshine today. Should make it up near 80 degrees. Tonight we're back down into the 50s. And you guessed it, more clear skies tomorrow should make it into the low 80s. So when does this change? Let's talk about it. Your long range, your forecast, all of our attention will be on the remnants of Francine. But this high pressure we have is going to keep most of the rain at bay. It looks to stay dry from this as Francine kind of falls apart over St. Louis area. For us, we'll get some high clouds initially Thursday into Friday, and then we'll clear things out this weekend. In terms of warmth, we've got more of it. This big ridge is going to hold across the eastern half of the country. There's no sign of fall like air. But in terms of 90s, are we done with it? Well, we average nine per year. We've had 15 this year, so it's been an above average summer. But climatologically, we are done with 90s by now. Our average last 90 degree days is August 20th, 21st or so. Uh, so we should be done by now. And you can see humidity remains manageable as well. So we've got some really nice summer like days out ahead without the sweltering heat and humidity. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecast. Nothing but sunshine with a few passing clouds here and there all the way through next Monday. Dave. All right, Matt, thank you. Five